uh, and so on and so on. Okay, from this one can say if I measure zeta and if I measure omega m and omega n, I can measure c. Or if I measure c m omega n, I can measure zeta. Okay, but somebody would say I can also measure zeta because zeta is or does govern the response of the damped fiber system, fiber system, that is A, because the response of the damped fiber system can be expressed as A e to the minus zeta omega n p, because zeta is non dimensional and omega n is 1 over t, and the t is t, therefore, dimensionally, this is correct. Okay, I'm introducing one other method, one other means to check whether or not I am going in the right direction. But check the dimension always. Okay, and then I, I say there is a term <coughs> So you can use a cosine, uh, depending on your flavor, right? You can put the uh, whatever flavor if you you want uh, on top of your ice cream, right? Uh, that's your choice. So my flavor is a sine. Professor Inman's flavor is also sine. And here I have what? Square root. 1 minus zeta square omega n t and this we call what do you call this? We call omega d that is damped natural frequency which is always very similar with omega m because zeta is very small usually. Yeah, that's what we learn. Plus phi. Okay? And also we know A is determined by the initial condition, right? For example, initial displacement, initial velocity. Say, look at initial velocity, initial displacement. Initial displacement is A sine y. Initial velocity can be obtained by differentiating this with respect to time. Okay. Then what are you get? A. I have a two time function, right? So I have to differentiate this, then I will get minus zeta omega n, and the sign this, <coughs> when I put t equal 0, then I have A minus zeta omega n, right? And the other one is A exponential this, and I differentiate this, then I will have square root minus zeta square, I mean, and here and cosine phi. Okay? Then I, I have V0, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And from this initial value, I can get A is equal to square root x0 square plus v0 over omega n square because v0 over omega n has the same dimension as x0 so I can intuitively argue that that is correct or another means is just to look at the text <laughs> okay. so 
what I'm saying is derivation is what you have to experience, but derivation is not your ultimate goal. Derivation is what you have to experience. That's important. If you don't, if you, if you do not have such experience, then you will have a problem. But that is the, just the beginning. <coughs> as soon as you have the experience, then you have to cultivate the expression. You have to feel it. You have to smell it. And you have to smell it. And the, 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 the results you have. So that you can make a, some good design, and some awesome good, good, something good for human being. Right? Because we are beautiful, proud, mechanical engineer. The people who can change the world. <laughs> Omaha had a good, great advantage to just, by just saying change the world, the change. So I'm using the <laughs> same.